Hey guys, how you all doing? So in this quick video, I'll show you how you can do the web scripting with Node.js. As I come from Python and it was really easy in web scripting in Python you know, with the Selenium framework. But I found you know, uh, web scripting with Node.js is quite, kind of uh, tough. So what I have learned, I'm going to share with you guys. Okay. So for in this video, we will web script the words RSS feed. You can see here, lots of RSS feed are here. So let's just say, let's go with the Android. Okay. So this is the Android tags of RSS feed. You can see. So basically, there are lots of things, but there there is only you need to scrap this one. Okay. There is entry. There are lots of entries here, and I'm going to scrap the title. And the content of it okay so for this you you need two things here I have created a empty project and you will need access to make an HTTP request so first I'm going to initialize the empty project npm install slash y I think it's, yeah sorry init slash y that's why so it will create an empty repository okay and now i'm going to install two packages two npm packages first is axios and gdo uh, i think i did something wrong wait okay sorry npm install axios and gdo so yeah actually it was already installed in my project so that's why i didn't took much time but it may take some time maybe like 10 to 15 seconds okay so everything is done now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a js file just name it index.js and first we are going to import those two packages into our file so I'm gonna do const axios require axios const chu require chu okay so now both uh, packages are imported correctly so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to make a request to this url and get everything what i what i can okay so i'm going to use axios axios the url uh, the url is this copy paste and make a promise that dot then so the promise will be he, that uh, mm, 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 yeah dot then wait a minute yeah dot then response dot sorry response arrow function and now so I'm going to save it, save the response into data is equal to rest.data. Okay, so let me show you what it has done right now. So if I do console dot command data, so I will get all the HTML data. See everything, just this. So after this, uh, let's first read this. I'm going to use Chirio now. So it will be const first doing this dollar is equal to Chirio dot load. And we have to load the data. So since the data is here, this so I'm going to load the data. 
data and since we are scraping an XML site so we have to pass this header as well so XML mode is equal to true yeah that's it so now Chirio is ready to use so let me first show you what you can do uh, let's do this okay mm. okay date const geo data is equal to dollar dot and here you can choose a class name or uh, div uh, so since we we are going to scrape this entry field so it will be entry and since we want this in text format so we have to make a function text and now we are going to do console.log Geo data. So let's see what I get. So as you can see, I have uh, I'm getting all the entries of this file. So if you want to just want to get one entry, you can use dot first function. We are going to delete that dot first so now it will just scrape the first entry so it will just scrape this one so run it and you see this one so i think you understood now how to use chilio now we are going to make a dictionary okay so uh, let's name it something main data okay. main data we are going to make an empty dictionary and by the way i used this dollar because it was very easy to use because if we were to name something else it would be lots of you know so yeah we made a main dictionary an empty dictionary and now i'm going to loop all the entries so it will be something like this um, dollar okay first remove this we don't need that dollar e and d r d r entry dot h And there will be two things index and element so index element here you can name anything to the to index or element I just name it index element because it is very easy to use and now we are going to run a dialog function inside it. So first we make a first we are going to scrape the title. So it will const title and and first we are going to scrape the title and save it inside the title. Okay. So it will be dollar. element dot sorry children because we want to get the children of entry right so element dot children element is this one this is same thing element and entry of children is children okay so children 
and what do we want we want to get the title of this so this is the title you know, copy this and save this and we want the text format so text format and we're going to do the same thing with description as well so title T E S sort for description page and here we are going to scrape the content so content by the way if you want to know uh, how I'm doing this I mean what exactly you need to do to get the title or content or href URL you can try this thing uh, cheat sheet here you can understand how things work so examples if you can use hashtag first instead of the dot first function it will also work and you can use this cheat sheet to get whatever the data you want okay so yeah so now we have got those two things title and description now we're going to save this into main data okay so to do that we are going to use a function data dot push come on bro data dot push and title description okay close it and now you can just console dot log data main data sorry which is the display so now i am printing the dictionary so let's see okay data dot post is not a function why is that okay i think i did something okay sorry this i have to this since we are pushing data into the dictionary so yeah see so now i have all the title and description now it's a bit messy but uh, you can filter it but i, I don't i'm not going to do it because it will make it video very long so take a help of this or and yeah thank you for watching